Hello again, grade one. Today we will continue lesson number two. How can we change the way objects move? In this lesson, we will identify the words position, direction, and gravity. The boys in this picture are playing with the sand. Some of them move the sand up, some of them move it down. Another boy takes the shells, put them inside the bucket, and another boy takes it out. Position words tell us where something is. Force can move the object to a new position. Like when you remember when Tia and Naif push on the orange peel to take the juice out? They are using their force. And their force makes the juice change position. Before, the juice was inside the orange peel. After, the juice is outside the orange peel. Now it's in the glass. So Tia and Naif use force to change position of the juice. It was in the orange peel. Now it's in the glass. What is your position? Look at the pictures. Things are moving up and down. They are moving in and out. Position words tell us where something is. Some position words are like in, out, up, down, left, and right. You can say behind, under, in front of, over. We have so many position words. And the force can move objects to a new position. Sometimes when the ball is moving toward you and you push it away, you are changing the direction. Direction where something is pointing or where an object is moving. The force can change the direction of an object. Like when, when Lana here changed the direction of the hand on the clock. She wants to show us the clock 6.30. So Lana uses force to change the direction of the hand on her clock. Direction means where it is pointing or where it's going. A step in the right direction. Think about pushing a friend on a swing. Your friend moves away from you and then comes back. Forces can move things towards and away from you. A force can change the direction of an object. Like this man is pushing his boy. Tell us the direction of this swing change. How it's changing. Away, he moves the swing away from the man. He changed the direction of the movement. So force can change the way objects move. It can make it start moving. It can make it stop moving. It can make it change direction. I can also change position. Now, what will happen when you jump up? Why do you always come back down? When you jump up, why do you always come back down? What will happen when you let go of an egg from your hand? You have an egg in your hand and then you let it go. What's going to happen? Fall down and break. It moves fast down towards the earth and then it breaks. Why everything moves down? What's pulling these things down? There is an invisible force. Gravity. Gravity is a force that you cannot see it. But it's there, it's in the earth. And it pulls objects towards the earth. That's why whenever I jump up, I come back down. That's why any object I let it go, it moves towards the earth and then it hits the earth because it's moving towards the earth. Gravity is pulling these objects towards the earth. What makes that coaster move? Roller coasters are fun. They go up and down, fast and slow, round and round. People on the ride might yell as they change speed and direction. But what makes the coaster move? To move up the hill, there is a motor who pulls a chain. The chain pulls the car up 
all the way to the up to the hill. Then, when they are up on the hill, they're going to move down now. But what helps them move down? Gravity. Gravity is the force that pulls the car down. Gravity pulls everything towards Earth. What pulls the car down the hill? Gravity. Now, write the word that solves this riddle. Listen up. I move a box when it is full. I can't be a push or a pull. Again, I move a box when it is full. I can be a push or a pull. What am I? Push or pull. Both of them are forces. So it's a force. Forces can change objects. Circle the words that tell us the kinds of change. When I have a force and I am moving an object, what I can change with this object? Its color? With my force? No. The speed? Yes, I can make it go faster. So yes, speed. I can also change the direction. If the ball is coming towards me, I will push it away. So change direction. Now write push or pull to label each picture. Where is push, where is pull? Here, he has a rope in his hand. And he's pulling towards him. He wants the object to move closer to him. So this is a pull. But here, he's pushing the box away. He wants the box to move away from him. So this is a push.